Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot Capricorn. I'm your host. I'm your Capricorn sister, Nadi. And I'm here to give you the rundown. We about to run down and see what the truth is. But anyway, before I get to doing the most, let me like this Paula Santo and get you your messages. <laughs> Gotta come to your prayer and since you open up my third eye as well. <laughs> And send any entities or any energies right back to hell where they belong. Amen. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. How you doing, Capricorn? What's your love life? What's that going on? What's going on over there? Because I know how I, Capricorns always... The love life department is always toxic. It's always... It's a hit or miss, Capricorns. I don't know why. I don't know why. But let's see. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? No means no is what I heard. So you're gonna have to put somebody in put somebody in their place as well as stand on your decision when it comes to you don't wanna fuck with them no more. They fucked up. Their chance is gone. Back of the line. No access. Access denied. I'm good on you. You're going to have to stand on it. Mm -hmm. What does Capricorn need to stand on? This person who's showing you unrequited love. This person who ain't showing you your love language. This person who is not doing enough. For your love, affection, or even attention, stand strong like Capricorn. They don't deserve you no way. That's their loss. You're not losing shit. They're losing something. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? I'm see, I'm hearing look up the number 12. Capricorn, this your not that's a, a message for you. What else is Capricorn need to know? I'm hearing I love you. Like in a trance state, like, like somebody's chanting, I love you, I love you, I love you. Somebody's probably going to confess that to you. This person's manifesting you in. They're currently going through a divorce or a breakup, so they're probably single. This person wants a family with you, or they have currently, you know, recently had a family with somebody else, so they probably are going to come your way with a child. Just saying. But I feel like no means no with this person. I'm talking to my Capricorns. You may be also talking to a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. This person has health problems or mental health problems. Yeah, mm -mm. This person doesn't make you happy anyway. Plus, they're always on vacation. I feel like this person screws around when they're on vacation. This person makes... Do you make this person happy, but do they make you happy? I don't think so. I feel like they have their moments. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but this person still has feelings for you. But they're not showing you the type of love that you deserve. This person does not know how to love you. But they want you to love them. Wait, let me say that again. This person doesn't know how to love you. Yet they want you to love them. Narcissist. Narcissist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How shit is that? What's it? Like I said, this person wants you. What's this person's hidden truth? What's this person's hidden truth? What's this person's hidden truth? Expose it. What's this person's hidden truth? I'm seeing somebody, you know how like when a person is a demon possessed, they kind of like their body curve over. I, I seen this person in the bed, like contorting. Like I feel like this is somebody that has a dark spirit in them of lust. So this is somebody that would never be satisfied. This is somebody that you would never be able to trust. This is somebody who never, who probably has a sex addiction. Like they, they're possessed. Like this person has a spirit of less than or in them so don't waste your time this person hides who they truly are because on the inside they're holding a very 
very, very deep secret. What else is this person's hidden truth? This person wants to be more than friends, but they know that you don't want them no more. You don't want them no more. This person is burying themselves in work to forget about you because everything reminds them of you. This person hopes that you all will be together again. I don't think so. Uh -uh. This person still has love for you. But you don't got no more love for this person. None whatsoever. It would fall all the way up under there. Whoop. Okay, let's see. And that's because... Yo, this person... is conflicted this person is a conflict conflict of interest i feel like dealing with this person will be a conflict i feel like even not dealing with this person is a conflict because i feel like this person is very like egotistical very like impulsive and i feel like they really think that they're very handsome or very pretty so they you know they just do the most and they just think that nobody could possibly not want them but you're showing up and showing out and it got this person feeling like, damn, maybe I'm not who I really thought I was. Maybe this is the one I need to continue to chase because they're st they've been chasing you for a while, Capricorn. And I don't really feel like you're ever going to give this person another chance because every time that you do, they always do the same shit that make you, that was the reason why you decided not to deal with them in the first place. But anyway, when they listen to music, they think about you. They do. But this person knew exactly what they were doing, so it makes them even more of a conflict conflict of interest. This person's trifling. They don't care about themselves, egotistical. And they are flirt and they're unhealed. Trash. Waste man. Mm -hmm. The perfect host for a demon to possess. Current love for Capricorn. What is that? Mm -mm. Mm. first of all you can't trust this person and they money funny that's the current person that's this person so hell no mm -hmm. and they probably may even have somebody already current love for Capricorn current love for Capricorn Current love for Capricorn. Current love. I feel like that was the message. Like, this per you deserve more. Yeah, this person was showing you unrequited love. They gotta go. Mm-hmm. New love for Capricorn. New love. New love. New love. I'm here. I'm like a bird. I wanna fly away. I don't know where my soul is. I don't know <laughs> where my home is. Okay, so I'm tripping and falling over shit. First of all, Capricorn, I feel like you want to be free, and I feel like that you're basically in a in a part of your life where you're trying to basically find yourself. You're trying to find your path. You're trying to find what truly makes you happy. And on this path that you're going down, you got a lot of people coming in and out of your life who are waste of times, who are fun times, and who are just seasonal. And I really feel like you're starting to just give up. Confirmation, but don't. It's just... You got to understand that everybody's not going to be in your life forever. Some people are seasonal. Some people are for lessons. And some people are just for entertainment. Don't beat yourself up, Capricorn. Remember, you're the prize. They're lucky to have you. But anyway, this new person that's about to come into your life, like I almost tripped over and fell in this chair, this person is going to be very much tripping over you. Like, yeah. I feel like they're going to be a nagger a little bit. 
So like if you do something to make this person feel some type of way, they're gonna nag your ear off about it. That's only because they care. But yeah, pay attention to the red flags when it comes to this person because I feel like with this person that's about to come in, I feel like mm, they're gonna come off as, you know, stable and you know, stable. But they're not gonna be. Yes, they're gonna be very, you know, romantic and loving and stuff like that, but this person's gonna be very deceptive. So they're gonna probably be a liar, keeping secrets, doing something, doing sneaky shit. It may not be cheating, but it's something that'll have you ready to bust them upside the head. Mm hmm But yeah. Be careful. Cause this new person gonna be tripping over you. But what they doing when they're not around you? Oh, all right. You ain't gonna be able to trust this person. You're gonna find out that they're deceptive. They're a liar. They're a sneaky bitch. With a with a smooth, with a good tongue on them. Sexually as well as charmingly. Let's get you some advice. Capricorn. Right now, you need to focus on your path. And you're already doing it. Keep keep doing it. Because at the end of your tunnel, at the end of your path, it's going to be somebody who is actually worth having you. Somebody who's actually going to appreciate you, admire you, as well as put you on a pedestal that nobody can reach. But right now, it's boss Capricorn of season. Your birthday almost here, Capricorn. It's a couple more months of you to be able to have the the whole the all these months into your birthday. Matter of fact, let's do a challenge. Capricorn. The months leading up to your birthday are the months that you're going to put in 110% to do anything that you want to do. This could be beauty-wise. If you want to cut your hair, if you want to grow it, if you want to do something different for my men, men male or female. Up into your birthday, Capricorn, do the things that you've always wanted to do career-wise. Put that business out. Put that video out. Change your look. Um, go Sign up for school. This is your challenge because your person's waiting on you. You just got to make your life align with theirs. What's the advice for Capricorn? What's the advice? Also, stop being so hard on yourself, Capricorn. You just don't know how great you are without even trying. So stop being so hard. You don't have to be hard on yourself. Nor do you have to work hard. It's in you. Not on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can make anything happen. Just believe actually putting the, the action behind it and don't get stuck and don't allow people to come into your life and throw you off or basically have you putting all your attention into them and basically losing everything behind it know that you're interesting you're special you're worth watching listening to looking up to be careful of people who see you as being powerful, see you as being somebody that's going somewhere and coming in and using you. I just like an African. So be careful when dating foreigners. That's nothing against foreigners, but most of them are scammers and most of them are romance scammers and most of them are gaslighters and manipulators. Be careful because people see you. People see the potential in you before you see it in yourself. And then they snake you. And then they use you. And then they act like they're, they're your friend when they're really not. Then they act like they're somebody that they're not. Hiding who they truly are. In return, breaking your heart. Leaving you alone. When truly all you needed was yourself. And God. These people are clowns. So allow them to be by themselves and do clown shit. Okay? 
These people are selfish, mm -hmm. liars, lazy, <laughs> sex addicts, manipulators, fake. They, 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 they hide behind many, many faces, <laughs> childish, and broke. And you're none of those things. So align your life to align with somebody who has the same path as you, who has the same goals as you. Somebody who's doing shit, not just waiting on somebody to come and save them. Because these people, addicts, drug addicts, drunks, sex addicts, they're just not going nowhere. Nowhere. They're not going nowhere. Stop allowing these people to tag along with you on your journey when you know that they're toxic. I'm telling you something, Capricorn. Let's get you some angel messages. If you're feeling like things are not going your way or you're struggling or you're basically trying to just get by, understand Capricorn, things are happening for you behind the scenes. Never stress, just pray. Mm -hmm. And never be afraid to help people on their journey, especially when you've already went through that. Capricorn, you've been through a lot. And I feel like a lot of you all could actually teach a lot of people and maybe that may just be your thing. Warning people of the dangers of the world so that they don't have to go through it. But also start following your intuition, Capricorn. It will save you from these broke ass motherfuckers. Untrustworthy ass bitches. Deceptive ass hoes. But also, we got 1111. So, um, in Capricorn fashion. Let's be a God for what we want. Amen. The power of two. I hope that it come to you, baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I want to thank you all for your love and support. I want to thank you all for the donations as well as the bookings, baby. If you haven't heard this today, baby, you're like a dead rose. Your beauty never dies. Ever. Male or female. And um, if y'all love me like y'all say y'all love me, y'all will subscribe to my OnlyFans for more freaky deaky tarot content. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm. Kick up to the curb.